Ready for the goofiest gameplay of your life? Yes. Yes, I am. the entire game, too. So. Oh, I'm turning my controller off. You want to try and beat this entire game in one day? No. <laughs> Looking for DLC. Black man. Dakota, we need to promote my Twitch and social media. We're getting absolutely almost no views. No! Dakota! Okay, guys. No lookies. I'm gonna turn this off real quick. Ah, oh, I can't do that. You know what? It doesn't even matter. They can't see it. Okay, yeah, they're just gonna see random stuff. Um, I'm in the stream and delete it. Oh, okay, composite. Okay. It should be good now. Okay. You ready, Dakota? Shadows edition, hold on. There's actually more. I don't have the second one. There's a second one. Ready to go to? Because I'm starting it. You go to what color? Purple looks like the vibe. Purple is the vibe. Blue is. Purple or blue? Blue, blue is what is usually. No, purple, shown. purple or blue is the vibe. So. Just blue. I mean, purple. Purple is just. Purple's beautiful. I mean, these are bot accounts. Look. Look how similar they are. No, it looks like robotic guys. Why? You think they're just similar people? Stop using them, so yeah. Don't use their names. Who's watching right now? Only two. It doesn't say exactly. Q 
USA Elite. Hmm. Taking this online. You got it, it's starting. Isn't it cold? There's yeah, ice. That's <laughs> all Silly. Oh, Dakota. Get it open. On it. Hey, Why does Harvey get show? Like bring the whole goddamn place down. Stay focused. We'll be out of here before anyone can stop us. Again. I think I need to change the settings. Pause the game, okay. Um. Actually, no, we're good, we're good. Oh, Christ. Who's right? Move in. Bieber? I heard stories, you know. Sent three home in an ambulance. The rest in body bags. No wonder the cops want him dead. Hey, you ever seen him? Yeah, Gotham Zoo. With all the other flying animals. Purple, Dakota, look. You tried. I've already played it. I might play some, but I've already played it. I feel like this game. Is actually pretty good. Keep doing this. I have to. <coughs> what are you doing? No one else will. Every drop of blood, everything you've sacrificed. The city is safer now. But it's made you a target. And people will keep you in the crosshairs until you're shot out of the sky. Yeah, well, that's the point. Let them come. Shit! The hell 
Baldy gone. Whatever got in, don't let it get out. I know you're trying to create a myth, but be careful you don't turn into a monster. Sometimes you need a monster. Come on! Come on! Come on! You do nothing. You're doing nothing. Man, it's too easy. I'm pretty sure that's not yeah. <laughs> there, you got shot, you did nothing, you got shot. <laughs> oh, you actually did nothing and died. See? <laughs> Come back! Come on! Come on! <laughs> Punched him. Oh, he didn't have to go. That wasn't even hit. No, you're messing up the bat meter. How are you gonna do that? Go down. <laughs> the face. The face is like. <laughs> His face. This was like, oh crap, man. <laughs> what are we gonna do? His face. Come on. Come on. He had like a straight face, and it went to like a slight frown. I don't know. Achievement? Yeah, I want the achievement. Who knows? It goes up. I want that meter. Like at the bottom left, it like fills up every time you do it perfectly. Mm. If everybody could fight like Batman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it worked anyways, who cares? Didn't your mother teach you to knock? Selena Gomez. <laughs> Behind you, big boy. Huh? Hey day. Just because. 
because you chose purple. I forgot. Didn't even say anything. It's just nothing. Well, if you want to be intimidating, you're succeeding. Criminals are becoming afraid of you. So are the police. It's a scare tactic, Al. Just a performance. You think Catwoman's hot? Without a scratch. <laughs> so far. <laughs> that doesn't oh, no. belong this is the first to thing you. I think of. I was wondering if we'd cross paths. <laughs> you broke the law. Here I am. Cut the shit. The yes. law. Don't tell me that's why you do Can't all this. Squeeze into a suit, tie on a cape. <laughs> Most people dress hey, up like that in an I do this for the thrill of it. I'll show you a thrill. Gotta admit it though. You give a good chase. <laughs> One day you might actually thrill. catch me. <laughs> Tonight. Don't you know not to corner a wild animal? It's dangerous. Then let's put you in a cage. Why is he talking like that? Bring it back. I don't like the voice actors. Batman's not afraid to hit women. <laughs> Remember that one episode? That they came to fight with Batman? He was like, you want to hit a woman with you? He was like, I would. Pause automatically every time I wouldn't be so sure. Why go to all that trouble for this? Shit! A myth can't be killed. You, however, are flesh and blood. God damn it! I said don't shoot! No! Wait! Hit her, hit her right now. Let her die. Nobody cares. You're simping. You simp. You're right. <laughs> no, no. You're right. I can't do that. Uh, Guess I was wrong about you catching me. 
Not sure if it was for my sake or yours. Oh, God. <laughs> Don't struggle no, for your fight. Oh, that's what you crave. The struggle. I know men like you. Don't save her. But what are you doing? <laughs> Don't save her. That's why you don't save her. <laughs> Dang, you lost it. See? This is why you don't save her. She can save herself. Step out of the shadows. And be oh. Bruce Wayne tonight. Oh, that's a much harder fight. Don't let tombstones be your family legacy. Well then. He doesn't have children. Actually, no, he does have children, but not yet. It's just in the past. Time to save the city. What? <laughs> the graphics so bad. Everything. <laughs> it's so <went> pixelated. <laughs> so goofy. We love this game. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know if we do, Nick. <laughs> I do. It's funny. You know what? I'm doing whatever choices I want now. My turn, my turn. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. A humble district attorney like myself is not used to such a ringing endorsement. Even one who cut Gotham's crime rate in half. Now, for too long, this city has burned with corruption oh, and greed like under this Mayor this Hill's thing. authority. Mm -hmm. But I promise you, a vote for Harvey Dent is a vote to finally put your foot down. And together, we can stamp out the fire and save our great city. <laughs> if only Mr. Wayne, my campaign's largest backer, could have heard that applause, he would sh Well, there he is. Fashionable and fashionably late, as always. Say hi, Bruce. Welcome to Wayne. Hi, Bruce. Well, I tee him up and he knocks him down. That's how Mr. Wayne and I do business. Thank you. Thank you again, everyone, for your unwavering support. Together, we will change Gotham. Funny jokes. Mr. Wayne, thank you for opening your house to us. Now, no, this is the biggest mansion in Gotham, but I don't think you got lost on your way here. <laughs> Where were you? I know you prefer the brooding billionaire angle. So the sooner we make nice with the donors, the sooner everyone will leave you alone. It's just working the night shift. Yeah, well, then you're pulling a double. No one came here tonight to see me. They want to see the Bruce Wayne, am I right? <laughs> and I can see him just fine from here. This shouldn't be painful. It's not a kidney stone. It's only a little face time with potential donors. Your face, specifically, with a mouth that's saying, Support Harvey Dent. We're the grease, they're the wheels. I missed it. And they're rolling in enough cash and votes to help make Gotham a place for families again. So just put on your billionaire smile and don't punch anyone. I'll do anything for Gotham. It's my home. It's our home. This will help you too, Bruce. Once I've turned the city around as mayor, you'll be a hero for funding my campaign. Now all I need is a decent slogan. I'm terrible at those. It always makes me sound like a used car salesman. Which, for the record, I have not been since before law school. No ideas? <sighs> That's all right. I guess I'll just stick with else. elect Harvey Dent. Oh, God, it's so boring. Bruce, I meant what I said. Together, you and me. We change Gotham, a city free from crime, where children can play in the streets again. That's what I want too, Harvey, but you know how rough it is out there. We have to shake things up to make that happen. Well, we can start with a few hands, hmm? Come on. Let's be the worst Batman we can be. Let's <laughs> become a nightmare. <laughs> Mr. Wayne, I'd like to introduce you to Bob and Regina Zellerbach. Of course I know these two. Uh, Hello, Bruce. Regina here is the chairwoman of Wayne Enterprises, and her husband voted for Mayor Hill last time. 
I'll admit it, Mr. Wayne. I don't know Mr. Dent from a pothole on Main Street, but I trust your family. If you believe in Dent, we believe in you. After all, whoever you support is a reflection on you. And we trust someone like you to lead this city to greatness. <laughs> well, I'm flattered, truly, but this night is about getting Harvey Dent elected so he can fix those potholes. Huh. I think I speak for half the room when I say politicians are puppets. Oh, come on now, Bob. I'm not a politician. I'm a crusader. Hmm? No strings attached. Old families like ours should flock together, you know. Like birds. You're preaching, dear. No, it's true. The Waynes and Zellerbox are reminders of the golden age of Gotham. Oh, this city's luster faded years ago, Mr. Dent. Look at Gotham now. Murder in the streets, corruption in City Hall, that Cape Bat freak dealing out vigilante justice like it's the wild goddamn West. Oh, Bobby, regarding golden age, seems you're getting cranky in yours. There's always hope. Forgive me for being blunt, but one man can't save this city. And it's a dangerous mentality to think so. That's how you get creeps like this Batman, or whatever it's called. Well, I have to say I side with your wife on this, Mr. Zellerbach. Even a spark of hope can light the darkness. Oh, an idealist with a bank account. He'll be broke before election day. <laughs> and I know Bruce would gladly spend every penny he has to fix this city. I don't doubt that for a moment. Uh, don't worry, though. I am not doing this alone. And with Bruce's help, we're replacing the dangerously unsecure Arkham Asylum with a state-of-the-art mental health facility to help Gotham's most at-risk individuals. It will be dedicated to Thomas and Martha Wayne in the hopes that their fate will never be repeated. After all your parents did for this city, oh, to be killed in a botched robbery in some alleyway, it was terrible, truly terrible. Yeah, a tragedy like that at such a young age it must have been crippling. If only that deranged man had gotten the right treatment. Maybe... Uh, well, I don't like to think about maybes. And I'm sure you don't either. Well, Harvey is the one who's been behind the project since day one. A vote for him is a vote for the memory of my parents. You'll have it. Thank you. Thank you both. <laughs> Not saying I doubted you, but that went better than expected. It is a night of ringing endorsements. What do you think about his haircut? Bruce's haircut. Oh, well, hello. What do you think of it? Pretty fire. Pretty fire. Harvey Dent. Harvey's? Gotham's next mayor and eager to know you. Vicky Vale. Not interested. And reporter for the Gotham Gazette. This is a private Vicky fundraiser, Vail. Miss Vale. No reporters allowed. Well, you don't mind if I stay and ask a few questions, do you, Mr. Wayne? Well, you can ask me whatever you want at the press conference tomorrow. Actually, I'm here for Mr. Wayne. Well, he certainly doesn't have any time either. Actually, I do mind. If you're not on the list, you're not here. Sorry. <sighs> we'll talk tomorrow, then. Mr. Wayne, you've... you've got something on your collar. Um... is that blood? Yeah. It looks like... Spilled some wine. It'll come out. Stick to clear alcohols, Bruce. I never stain. Do excuse me, Master Bruce, but uh, another guest has arrived. I'm sure they'll find uh, the bar. You may want to greet this one personally, sir. Carmine Falcone? Is the Dent campaign Ooh, soliciting votes from Gotham's biggest crime? No, that Falcone's is, is. never been convicted Falcone's. of anything, except being a businessman who loves this oh, city. That dude. The, uh, Excuse us, Miss Vale. Criminal organization. Batman Arkham Origins, you meet the son of the dude. <laughs> and what kind of business do you think you get? <laughs> the one that controls enough votes to get me into City Hall. Penguin? No, he likes, the he's like a collector. Evil politics, Bruce. It's he's in like the a service of a better Gotham <laughs> for all of us. And this, he's actually tall. He's just regular size. hear him out before person. you kick him out. Hey. Falcone requested him. to speak with you directly. 
Jesus, honey. Inviting a known criminal to your fundraiser doesn't exactly look good for your squeaky clean image. Let me worry about that. A word of warning, Bruce? Play nice. You know, I've been in the market for a new house. Decent walk-up, sky-high ceilings, plenty of room for my cars. I think I'll take it. Though the decor offends my eyes. <laughs> Man, all flash, no class. Let's talk privately, shall we? Hey, <laughs> I like this guy. Ready to do business before we even introduce ourselves. But we'll get to that. Carmine Falcone. Thank you for welcoming me into your home. You're a respectable man, I hear. Bruce Wayne. I know who you are. The guy who's gonna sell me his house. Gentlemen, perhaps we'll all be more comfortable in the parlor. Follow me, if you will. I should have done it. I don't think I should have done it. You should know, Mr. Falcone. My analysts say we're raising triple with Mayor Hill at... <laughs> You'll be fine out there, Harvey. I saw plenty of skirts to keep you busy for a few Doesn't minutes. Mean. Have a drink, have Doesn't a mean. talk. No. Yeah. I'll bring Bruce yeah. back to you soon. We talk alone. Just you and me. Sorry, Harvey. Hey, <laughs> Bruce. Yeah. yeah I'll, uh, I should have uh, shook his hand and I'm nightmare, Bruce. Bruce. Drink or something. <laughs> you should have shook his hand. Let's make all the enemies we can. Let's yeah, well, let's just disrespect the Joker. Wants to make sure the rules are followed. No, in this game, but the Joker and Batman are like friends. There's the law, and there's doing what's right. You understand? <laughs> And I'd rather see Harvey actually help Hamlin. this city than it's <laughs> just the well, The man talks too much, chaps my face with words. Unlike most people I've met, Harvey actually has an integrity. He's trying to make Gotham a better place. So am I. So are you. Hey, we all carry the city on our broken backs. Might lighten the load if we do so together. I ain't here to chin wag about politics, Mr. Wayne. Gives me indigestion. I got enough of that as is. So, let's talk relationship. Talk this for me. Be a pal. I can get Harvey the mayor's seat, or I can pull it out from under him. Okay, imagine, this is me, and these are all my friends in Gotham. The businesses, restaurants, clubs, docks, unions, politicians. If Harvey gets elected. That's why I came here tonight to your lovely home, hoping to make a new friend. One who can help Mr. Dent see the light, if need be. Between your businesses and mine, I bet we employ half the city. Now, we got a good thing going, so I don't see why we shouldn't team up. For Gotham. For our city. Look, I'm only talking to you because Harvey asked, trusting a friend to know what's best for Gotham. Now, that's a predicament. You listen to me, kid. I know, somewhere inside that tuxedo, you understand the situation. Money gets money. The risks, the alliances, the hidden costs. Your father knew which hands to shake. And which to break. I think I'll have someone see you out. Okay. Okay. So that's how it's gonna be. People don't say no to me. Not for long. Master Bruce, your guests are leaving. 
I recommend seeing them out. You wouldn't want to be rude. Heed your butler's advice, kid. Oh, and I'm no longer interested in buying the house. The owner's a prick. And he's gonna get what's coming to him. It's me.
What are you doing, Dakota? Hey, Dakota. We got an idea, new idea for a stream idea. What? What about a horror game? Like what? Blair Witch. You ever played it? Nope. It's scary. It's scary. It's, I'm not even joking. Hold on. You don't have it, but do you still have, like, what's it called? Blair Witch. <laughs> <laughs> it's a movie, but the game is scary. I screamed once, twice. I actually did on stream, but never finished it. On this one. Did something wrong. At least one thing, if you want. If you want. Oh, let's just finish this first. Another brutal week in Gotham, folks. A string of home invasions rippled through the city's already crime-infested East End. Apparently, the bandits are using the GCPD battery ramps to force their way in. With breaking and entering incidents up to percent over last year. Remember to keep those front doors locked at night. See what she was really after. Allegations that Dent may have actually been involved in the break in. Talk about dirty. Does Hill's campaign really think these accusations hold any water with the voters? Or will it be perceived as a desperate attempt? Promising young politicians. And in other news, we are now on day three. Nearly fell off a building for this? in the area. And I suppose that cad woman would have preferred the latter. The newest addition can program it to reveal trace elements in a confined space. Well, the test run at the mayor's office was a success. I should see if I can refine the edge. Could be sharper. Lenses, voice modulation. Wayne Enterprises really outdid themselves with this version. Should be considered dangerous if found. Authorities are asking that you do not approach and call police immediately. Mayor Hill's Gotham Beautiful Act takes effect today, making it possible for landlords to evict tenants immediately and without cause. The new law was created in order to allow Gotham City's biggest property owners greater ability to modify and improve the city's aging buildings, some of which have been occupied by families for decades. So if you come home from work tonight and find all your stuff on the street, don't worry. It probably isn't anything you did wrong. And if you can believe it, now you can't even trust the valets. More on this after the break. Mayor Hill says he's tough on crime, 
But since his election, violence in Gotham has skyrocketed. And when he was presented with legislation that would have dismantled organized crime in the city, he vetoed it, killing Gotham's chance for a safer future. Maybe that's because the rumors of Hill's connections to some of Gotham's most notorious mafia families are true. We don't need another gangster running the city. We need a crime-fighting hero. With over 200 successful convictions, You're right, District you're Attorney right. Harvey Dent just I might no be idea. the hero Gotham needs. But he can't save our city alone. He needs your help. He believes that together we can make a dent in Gotham's crime. But it starts with you. Vote for Harvey Dent and elect a real crime fighter to Gotham's mayoral seat. I'm Harvey Dent, and I approve this message. Yo, Jack Ryder. Talk about dirty politics. Yeah. Does Hill's campaign really yeah. think these accusations yeah. hold any water with the voters? Or will it be perceived as a desperate attempt from a flailing campaign to take down one of Gotham's most promising young politicians? Let's find out what was so important. <sighs> Encrypted. Wayne Manor has seven bedrooms, two kitchens, a library, a gymnasium, a basketball court, and a movie theatre. And yet I always find you here. In a dark, damp cave. I like this cave. In front of a computer. You got a choice. Well, then you won't mind if I skip cleaning the rest. The dusting is murder. Did you find out what that um, cat woman tried to steal? Well, in the process. Hey, what was it, Batty? Batty what, what are we looking at? Yeah, Batty. 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 Different angle. This way you can't do it. That one area? What are you supposed to be doing? That's a great This is a map of the east side shoreline. Wow. It could mean any number of things. Money, weapons, drugs, everything flows through that port. Maybe it's where Mayor Hill picks up his dry cleaning. Hmm. Can't make sense of it yet. There's still plenty of files to decrypt. And in the meantime, I saved it what I could. I it's too fish. Thanks, Al. Yeah, the same couldn't be said for the bar. I had to literally pry Mrs. Zeller back away. But you'll be pleased to hear everyone has left, including Mr. Falcone. Before the game switched from billiards to cutthroat, I'd recommend leaving the fist fights to your alter ego. Bloodstains are much harder to remove from a tuxedo. Oh, no. I had everything under control. That's true. I've seen you take down worse thugs. But I'd already sewn you up once tonight, and I had no interest in a repeat performance. For the record, your father despised men like Falcone, thought they ruined Gotham's stellar reputation. Back when it still had one? It can again, Bruce. Though people like this Catwoman aren't helping. Is she new to town? I've never seen her before. Hopefully, she's just a tourist. Oh, I already checked the codex. Not much to find, apparently. A few burglaries, break-ins. Seems to lay pretty low. You could learn a thing or two from her. Not really you can't playing. step outside with a... Balls. That's really hard to tell.
Batman. Let's put his play later. How did ending up in the news yeah, lately? As Which one? Batman did not hide. That's not the point. I want criminals to know I'm out there. Oh, you pressed it. You Batman pressed it. It works. Batman hiding from anybody. Which one? Pause it. I was talking about Bruce. No. We'll fight. We'll yeah, fight. We'll fight. We'll fight. We'll fight. We'll No one's gonna figure it out now. Trust me. Miss Vale noticed your injuries, so did Mr. Dent. If they put it together with the incident at the mayor's office, it would undo all the long nights and close calls we've endured to get here. You're in the spotlight more than ever. You have to be careful. You're right, you're right. I should have canceled the event. But I know how much pressure you're under. I don't mean to add to it. It's okay. I, I know you're only looking after. If we make a suit that fits me, we can trade places some night. Though I'm not partial yeah. to heights. Uh, old men worry, that's all. It's our gift and our curse. One more worry for the list. Harvey Dinto. Dintos. I thought I saw Oz. It's been, what, 20 years? Last time I saw him... We were in grade school. Indeed. You two were thick as thieves. Oswald, however, took that role more literally than you. Dishonorable discharge, illegal boxing matches, arms dealing, prison stents? That's a criminal grade. Wait, is that a if penguin? I'm using the expression That's a penguin. correctly. Unfortunately, you are. Oswald claimed he only wanted to catch up, but his yep, behavior Oswald following his family's family. collapse is troubling. Why he's returning now, I haven't the faintest idea. You think he's looking for a handout? He would have come to the right person. No, oh, because I'm... Because you're generous. A little too much sometimes, with your wealth, your time, and even your well-being. Even though you and young Master Cobblepot used to be close, I'd advise you to be cautious. But I know you can't abandon a good mystery until it's bot. solved. I'll be careful, Alfred. When you see what's become of his park, I think you will. Cobble Pot Park. Where are you, Oz? Disappears from the scene. It's crazy. Wait, no, it doesn't no more.
Thank you, sir. Statue, but no eyes. Beat it. Graffiti. Mm. Well, it isn't what it used to be. Yo, watch awesome. wallet awesome. cash. <clears throat> but this goes through you. You good? Uh, time to fight. Hey, you heard it, man. The hell are you waiting for? Oh. You're making a mistake. You already made one. Come in here. The next one kills you. And him. Gentlemen. Oz. Keep walking, all right? This don't you see, that's where you're mistaken. My old mate and I have some catching up to do. And you're oh. moving the moment! Come here! Oh. Think that'll do! <laughs> Stay down! Be a nice place. No lives like you don't belong. This is my park. Mine. You hear that? <laughs> oh, hey, Bruce. You've got a little, uh. Yeah, hey, good as new. That was the right little scrap, eh? Nothing kickstarts the system like a dash of adrenaline, eh? You didn't need to take it so far. Some folks are fine hearing, Bruce. Others don't get the message unless it's beaten into them. God, it's been, what, two decades? And you know what? I haven't been mugged once that entire time. <laughs> uh, no, that wasn't why I brought you in, mate. Right now... I am trying to recognize the little Bruce I used to run around this place with. Back when it wasn't, you know, like this. This park used to mean something. A place that was safe for kids, for families. People came from all over to visit. Oh, Mom and Dad, they put so much work in here. It's a shame what happened. It was beautiful once. And now it's a hellhole. Last thing my parents ever built. <sighs> this city chews right through people. 
Mum committed to Arkham. Dad. Ended it yourself, you did. My family's fortune. There's nothing left, Bruce. I know. Alfred told me. <sighs> it's funny, huh? Same place that ground my family to dust. Gave you the good life. Used to run in the same circles we did. Hobnobbing parties, round-the-world vacations, unlimited potential. Now all I got is this park. I'm... I'm sorry, Oz. No one should have to go through that. Thanks, Bruce. But we are not the only ones suffering. Good to know you haven't changed, Bruce. You still care about something more than just yourself. Although, I was surprised to see Carmine Falcone at your party last night. Made himself right at home, that oily... <sighs> Falcone was an uninvited guest. That's it. Never want to see his face again. On that, we can agree in earnest. Falcone made a stack of cash and corpses a mile high, ruining families like mine. All he needs is a little push. And... It'd be a treat to watch him in pavement. Sorry, mate. This reunion got a lot more grim than I planned. Things are gonna be on the upswing soon, no? A revolution is knocking on Gotham's door. And I'm here to let it in. Which brings me to you, Bruce. You see, you throw a rock in any direction, you break a window that Wayne Enterprises owns. As the rich and powerful go, oh, you top Gotham's list. But when my revolution starts, we're gonna smash windows and cross off names all the way down. Like I said, it's not gonna be pretty. It's gonna be beautiful. I'm not your enemy, Oz. That remains to be seen, don't it? I've got great affection for you, Bruce. I really do. Which is why I'm warning you. When this whole thing starts, make sure you're on the right side. Good seeing you, Bruce, but I got some rocks to collect. Cheers. Yeah. <laughs> Over here, right here. This way. Bruce, Bruce. Good morning, everyone. Morning, Mr. Dent. Hey, Bruce, you mind if we swap cars? I mean, mine isn't fast and the paint's rusting off, but boy, does she have charm. Well, we didn't bring you all out here to discuss cars, honestly. Now, we're here about Arkham Asylum. Ever since it opened its doors, Arkham has been a breeding ground for the criminally insane. But today, with a sizable contribution from this man here, we break ground on a state-of-the-art mental health care facility. One that will improve the well-being of Gotham and its citizens for years to come. 
and Mr. Wayne has a few words he'd like to say. Bruce? For those with mental health issues, there are no cuts or scrapes. Their ailments are often invisible, but inside, they're suffering. You know, when I was uh, nine years old, my parents took me to see a movie about a hero in a mask. It was a hero who stood up to oppression and defended the people from injustice, no matter the cost. That night, my parents paid the ultimate cost defending me from a man <clears throat> who needed the kind of help this new facility will provide. With this Today, on the anniversary of that fateful night, we dedicate this facility to Thomas and Martha Wayne and usher in a new era of healing for Gotham. I'm uh, sure you all have plenty of questions about the new hospital, so let's open it up. You first, Miss Vale. Thank you. With the opening of this new hospital, what does this mean for Arkham Asylum? What happens to the old building? As a reminder that we can do better. This time we won't fail those who need us most. All right, who's up next? Uh, you there. Mr. Wayne, Julia Remark of the Tribune. My sources say you welcomed alleged mob boss Carmine Falcone into your home. You even shook his hand. Well, I think Mr. Falcone is a voter just like anyone else in this city. He came to learn about Harvey Dent, your next mayor. Next question. Please keep your questions on topic, people. We're here about the hospital, remember? Uh, but Mr. Wayne, this morning the Globe received evidence of an offshore bank account managed by Carmine Falcone and your father. Thomas Wayne. What exactly are you implying? Transactions connected to organized crime going back years and continuing to this day. The paper trail ties your family directly to the mob. Care to comment? And did anyone else receive this evidence? The Globe, the Gazette, we all did. Mr. Wayne, Mr. Wayne, is all your money dirty? Is the Wayne family legacy built on lies? Did you know about this, Bruce? How long has your family been dealing with Falcone? Could the allegations be true? What are you telling us? Does the mob sign Wayne Enterprises' paychecks? <laughs> I think you should check your source. Sounds to me like an intern is finally putting their creative writing minor to good use. Mr. Wayne, Mr. Wayne! How long has your family been dealing with Falcone? Could the allegations be true? Did you know about this, Bruce? What are you telling us? I'm sorry about this, Bruce. I don't know where the hell it's coming from. Damage control's my territory. We'll talk later. Everyone, everyone, please, settle down. I'll be fielding your questions from here on out. Please, let's try to keep this civilized. Bruce, I've been trying to reach you. The police are inside the manor. Hmm. <clears throat> Hey, careful! Put it back. I'm afraid we can't, Mr. Wayne. Says who? This warrant. It's not personal. I had the boys turn the lights off, keep a low profile. I'm sorry, are you arresting me? Not unless I'm forced to. We're only collecting evidence today. I didn't do anything. That's what we're here to find out. 
Alfred, keep an eye on them. Make sure they only take what they have to. Of course, sir. I meant what I said about not personal. We only want files related to Wayne Enterprises. The warrant covers your place, pardon me, places of residence, and any companies you own. And what do you expect to find? That's for our analysts back at the precinct to figure out. I can't comment. It's a valid warrant. I gotta serve it. Mayor Hill signed off on this himself. As long as he's mayor, he calls the shots. Well, Hill has a history of making his opposition disappear. Rumors and allegations, Mr. Wayne, that's all. But if they become fact, I'll handcuff him myself, same as any other crook. I don't know how your neck ended up on Mayor Hill's shopping block, but here we are. Hill knows if I go down, Harvey's campaign goes down too. That'd be a real shame. Mr. Dent's the only DA I ever trusted to make a conviction stick. As mayor, I think he can finally turn things around for us. For all our sakes, I pray you've got nothing to hide. I didn't mean to interrupt, but... It's disgusting the way they blindsided you with that BS about your family. It's a joke. Listen, Bruce. A scandal surrounding a beloved family like yours captures the public's attention. I can help you get the right kind of attention. Through my connections at the Gazette, I have all kinds of access. I can dig up whatever you need to fight this. Stay out of this, Miss Vale. There are enough reporters eviscerating my family's legacy. I want to restore their legacy. The Waynes are synonymous with Gotham. You deserve better treatment than this. The Gazette received this supposed evidence like every other media outlet, and it's all hearsay flimsy sources, there isn't a shred of hard proof. Still, allegations like this, they, they, they don't magically appear. Someone is going after my family, after me. Obviously, the sender didn't identify themselves. We have no idea who it could be. I mean, no one's even done their due diligence on this yet. The press saw the fumble, they grabbed the ball and ran. Not every day you get to go after a Wayne. By tonight, this scandal will be broadcast to every screen in Gotham. Everyone will be talking about it. This isn't my first pass through the rumor mill. I know the damage it can do. Then go on the record. Right here, right now, and stop it. You need to get out ahead of this. Your side is what matters, not wild speculation. Turn it off, Miss Vale. <sighs> but Bruce... Until I know what's really going on, I am not speaking to the press again. You're gonna beat this, Bruce. The Waynes always come out on top. Goodbye, Miss Rail. I hate to admit it, but everyone smells smoke. A fire is heading this way. Batman has made plenty of enemies, but my family? We've done nothing but support Gotham, even in its darkest days. All this 
on the anniversary of your parents, not a coincidence.